Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't posted anything for a while. Today I will show how to disable Teams as your default meeting option in Office 365. What I mean is when you try to create a meeting in Outlook, by default, Outlook makes a Teams meeting. Here my workstation, if I want to create a meeting for Thursday, I can click on new meeting button here. And by default, Outlook creates or turns this meeting into a Teams meeting. If I want to cancel this or say I don't want this to be a Teams meeting, I need to click on don't host online and then this will turn into a regular meeting. If I want to go back to be a Teams meeting, I can click on Teams meeting button here and then I have a Teams meeting. Or let's say if I don't use the new meeting button here, if I click on select a date and then click on new appointment and then if I want to click invite attendees, then as you can see this is turns into a teams meeting then i have to click on those don't host online again to have a regular uh, meeting you can disable this setting in two ways you can disable this from outlook or you can use powershell if you want to disable this from the outlook you can you need to click on file and then click options select calendar and under calendar options you need to uncheck this setting add online meeting to all meetings or like i mentioned you can use powershell with powershell you can disable this setting for the entire organization or you can disable it for specific users and i'm going to show you how you can use powershell to disable this setting First, run PowerShell as an admin and connect to the Exchange Online Admin Center. If you don't know how to connect to the Exchange Online Admin Center, I'm going to include a link to one of my videos in the description. Please take a look at it. I'm already connected to the Exchange Online. There's a parameter called Online Meetings by Default Enabled, and it specifies whether to set all meetings as Teams or Skype for business by default during meeting creation. I can use this command to see the status of this parameter. As you can see here, it's it's null and it has a meaning. So if you see if the, your parameter is null, it means the default behavior is for meetings to be online. If you see equal true, it means that all meetings are online by default. And if you set it to false, all meetings are not online by default. So to do this, I'm going to use set dash And I'm going to find online meetings by default enabled. I'm going to make this false. Now, if I go back and check the status of this parameter, I should see false here. Now, what we need to do, we need to wait. So I'm in a test environment. Probably for me, it will take a few minutes. But if you're in a bigger organization with too many users, probably will take an hour or all, sometimes a day. For me, it took a day to get this or disable this feature for everyone in my organization. So please wait. But that's how you can disable the settings. Now, let's say you don't want to disable this setting for the entire organization. You want to just disable it for a, for a specific user. This time you can use this command instead of set dash organization config you can use set dash mailbox calendar configuration then you can you have to use identity identity is going to be the email address of that user and then you can use dash online meetings by default and then you can make these as false then whatever email address that you have here that user this setting will get disabled for that specific user i have already disabled this setting for the entire organization i i'm not going to use it for any of my users as always once you're done using powershell make sure you disconnect your session to disconnect your session run this command first get ps session and here's our session id number here and type remove Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.